Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're talking about how to get started in bug bounties. Full disclaimer on this video, I am also learning bug bounties at the moment. Um, I come from a more security audit background as some of you may know already. And um, yeah, I'm interested in sort of completing some bug bounties. So these are learning experiences that I'm picking up at the moment that I'm now telling you. So leading on from my conversation with Stock yesterday, I just wanted to make this video to sort of explain how you can get started in bug bounties and um, potentially make some money and definitely learn some stuff down the line. Now to start off, there's a lot of sort of information out there or misinformation that you have to be from a technical background to get into bug bounties. And it's that's not true, that's not the case. It would certainly help if you understood some programming languages uh, before you got in, but it's not completely necessary. And if you're one of those people out there who wants to sort of break into cybersecurity and, and just wants to sort of jump in and get started with something, I would probably recommend bug bounties. Another misconception with bug bounties is that you're going to go into it and start finding bugs straight away and start making absolute bank, like $10,000, bounties and all this sort of stuff and that's also not true it's it's just not going to happen so I'm going to start off with some technical things that you will need to learn uh, before or while you're getting started with bug bounties so for example you want to jump straight in you've signed up an account on HackerOne and you've got an account on bug crowd you've gone through the basic uh, learning which is on Hacker One, which is very good by the way. If you haven't ever sort of watched anything about bug bounties, definitely have a look at the bug bounty tutorial for beginners on Hacker One. It explains everything from XSS to, you know, all the way right to the end. But anyway, some things that are worth learning are HTTP in particular, the TCP IP model, some basic Linux commands, and just like the basic Linux command line, so nothing too intense, just some very, very basic uh, bash scripting. A general understanding of how web applications work and some very, very basics of networking. To throw in some extra stuff on there, I would also look at HTML and PHP, but these are things you're going to pick up down the line anyway. Now, the two most common tools for bug bounties are Burp Suite and Google. And I know you might think like, oh no, you can't use Google as a tool. You definitely can. <laughs> and it's it's something that you're going to have to do sort of jumping in anyway, because you're if you want to sort of hit the ground running and start learning uh, straight from the get go, after you've done those tutorials on Hacker One and maybe even Pentester's Lab, you might want to then have a look at completing your first bounty. And my recommendation to you here is that you pick up something that's like a basic code review, right? So you're going through the code review, you're not looking to make money, you're just looking to complete your first bounty and write a really, really good report. So you're going through this code review, you're just looking for anything that sort of stands out um, as per the instructions on the HackerOne tutorial and just trying to find, I guess, your uh, style of bug bounty hunting. And maybe at this point is, is a good time to sort of start deciding on which sort of bounties are the ones that you prefer doing the most. So for example, if you want to start off with going through a code review and finding out like this, this particular place has put up a bounty for XSS or cross-site scripting. And you then go on to do this bug bounty and you follow the procedures for XSS. And you might think, okay, well, how do I start an XSS? Well, go to Google and type in, how do I find an XSS? It's as simple as that. And there's so much information out there. Um, there's medium blogs, there's videos on YouTube. There's all sorts of information on exactly how to find an XSS on a web app. You will definitely find one sooner or later. And that might have already been found before, and that's okay, that's not the point. Another point I should make here is that you also need to decide if you want to go with web app pen testing, which is 
probably the one I would recommend because it's, I feel, easier, but maybe that's just me, as opposed to mobile uh, app testing. Now, there's actually a guide out there called the OWASP or O-W-A-S-P testing guide. And I think they're up to like version five or six now. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but have a look at that guide. I'll see if I can find it and put a link in the description. And it, it basically gives you a, a full guide on how to uh, pen test or find a bounty on a web app. There is also an OWASP guide for uh, mobile app pen testing. Um, but up to you which way you go on that it sort of depends on I guess your own personal preference and you know what you feel more comfortable doing there are a whole lot of books out there worth reading as well but I'm not going to recommend them because they've been done in a thousand other videos what I will recommend though is a bunch of youtubers that I've written down on my phone here that are quite useful to um, follow for bug bounties. So the first one is obviously Stock. He was in my video yesterday. He's definitely worth watching to find out all about bug bounties and uh, he's, a, he's a great resource. So Stock is number one. Next up we have IPPSEC, who um, he's a pretty big channel. He's definitely very knowledgeable and also worth following. The last one on my list is Live Overflow and he's, um, his videos are great and he goes into a lot of detail on uh, very specific items. So if you are looking to sort of expand your knowledge base on all sorts of different bug bounties, this guy is definitely worth following. There's one that I didn't write down on the list actually and his name is the Cyber Mentor and he's videos are also really great and quite in depth. I haven't seen too much uh, bug bounty stuff on his channel before, but that's not saying that he doesn't do them. I probably just haven't seen them. So yeah, that's, that's basically how you get started in bug bounties. And it can be such a rewarding career for you if you really do stick to it and enjoy it. And don't expect to find a bug bounty straight away. I know this has been said a million times on pretty much everyone's channel but don't expect to find a bug bounty right off the bat. And it's all about persistence, just like pretty much everything else with life. If you wanna put in the time and stick to it, you're going to get back results. And bug bounties are no different to that. If you stick to it and just keep going with finding bug bounties, find one that you really enjoy finding, or maybe it's, it's like a really quick spray and pray and you, that's your style and you like doing it like that, that's fine. Do it like that. Find the bug bounties that you enjoy and just keep kicking ass. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any recommendations for anyone else on how they can find bug bounties or get started in bug bounties, leave a comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed this content and of course, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Catch you later.